Hi, my name is Sean Gonsalves and welcome to Animation Deconstructed, the channel where I share my exact animation techniques which helped me become a senior animator and consultant for multiple studios. In this tutorial we're going to be going over how to create realistic light sweeps. Let's just take a look at the video. As you can see this light sweep affects everything from the bevel of the text right into the exact cracks and highlights of this created artwork. What I've done for you is I've saved this out as a PSD and um, I'll upload that to the blog. The link will be in the description. You can just double click and go straight in and update the text to whatever you want and follow along with the tutorial. So let's just Bring in the PSD, I'm going to double click, go into the folder, I'm going to bring this in. Composition, editable layer styles is good. And I also want to bring in that background image. I am going to rename this, so it just pops to the top, underscore, and text effect light sweep and press enter and just click on the name tab and it'll go right to the top I'm going to double click in there i'm also going to close the old one what we have here is just two layers the background layer doesn't actually have anything on it so we can just leave that there as black and the top layer is just a flattened layer of our text from a photoshop layer want to bring this sky background onto our composition. And I also want to just scale it up to about 150. I'm going to move this up. I'm going to turn it off from for now, just so that we can work on the actual effect of the light sweep. First thing we need to do is we need to create a bump map and that will drive the actual light sweep to go over the bevels and in these little cracks. So I'm going to duplicate the text. I am going to control shift C to pre-compose and I'm going to call this a bump map and hit the enter key. Something else I want to do is I just want to change from 8-bit to 16-bit. So I'm going to Alt-click just so that we've got more colors to work with and it'll look a bit nicer. I'm going to double-click to go into the bump map. And we need to convert this to black and white. So the first thing I'm going to do is type in tint. Drop a tint effect onto this text. And I also want to just crunch the colors. So going to add a levels to this. I want to bring this black point up so that we've got a true black inside our darkest areas. And I also want to crush the white areas as well so that we've got true white on the highlights. That is it for the bump map. We can go back to our main comp and we are going to pre-compose this so that we can create a light sweep composition. I'm going to move all the attributes into the new composition and press OK. I'm going to change this color to cyan and we're going to double click to just go inside here. So what I want to do is I want to create a white panel which is going to move along here to create the light sweep kind of look. But I'm going to be using a displacement map which will eventually bring this white and stretch it and plastic wrap it almost on the letters. So what I want to do is create a solid white and I just want to make it a bit higher because I am going to pull in quite a lot from the bottom and the top and I don't want it to cut off with a straight line. So I'm going to make this 2000 and press OK. I also want to just drop it to the bottom and track mat it. Then we're going to, with our white solid selected, 
add a displacement map. Next thing I want to do is I want to create the actual mask which is going to move across this. So let's just draw on the white background. This should be good. Press V to change to our point tool and I'm going to click on the outside and then drag that top bit so it's angled. I'm also going to use the mask feather tool just to feather this on the inside. And I'm pretty happy with that. With my viewport actually set to full just so I can see the full resolution of the image, I'm going to start changing this displacement map and the settings. So I want the bump map to be the displacement map layer and I want to change red to luminance and green to luminance. And we are going to start pulling this up and you can already see very quickly that we are displacing this light sweep onto the text, almost like we are plastic wrapping it. So I just want to do quite a bit on here. Let's see, let's go for about 400 and about 500. I think that should be good. Now what I want to do is I want to press the M key once to bring up the mask path attribute. I'm going to double click on the mask so that we get the handles. Move it off until we don't see the sheen or the light sweep anymore. I'm going to keyframe at the beginning. I'm going to move over to about three seconds. Double click again on the mask and move it over to the right. I also want this to have a bit of an ease out at the beginning. So I'm going to select the first keyframe, hit the F9 key, and then go into the graph editor. I want to pull this across just in the beginning. And we can just see over time that it will start off a lot slower. Might be a bit too much. I think I'll just leave it there. I'm going to close that composition and we'll go back. And if we just solo this, you'll see that we have our layer. Now I just want to color this. And the easiest way I've found to do this is to actually use the plugin from Video Copilot, the VC Color Vibrance plugin. So I'm going to go down here and select an orange. I think that'll be okay. Also going to just solo this so that we can see it. Turn this back to full. I want to bring this down to about 70. 77. Preserve the luminance. Just fill the empty background color and take this down to about 45. We start getting this glowing orange kind of look. And this should start looking a lot better on our text than just the plain white. I'm going to select this on for the matte alpha so that we actually can see through this. And then I just want to change the actual layer mode to be screen. Just going to preview it quickly. Okay, so this is where we're at. We're just going to add some extra little effects to create that same kind of look that I had in the demo. We've got the sky at the back. We need to do a few things to bring in the color and uh, add a few glows to the actual text. So the first thing I want to do here is I want to just parent the light sweep to the text so that when we animate it slowly, it will follow along. 
you'd select the text change that to low name just my preference add a glow to this and I don't want too much on this actually just want some kind of a drop shadow sticking out just drag this up about 15 should be good I'm also going to duplicate this and drop it behind and I'm going to say this one can have a bit more color so 54 and about 40 on the glow radius so you can see some color is coming out there and I'm going to change this one to multiply just to add some darkness to the background okay so the final thing I want to tackle is this background and compositing everything to look like the demo video so I'm go going to select the sky I'm going to call this sky 1 and I'm going to add a curves adjustment layer just want to take out these bright lights at the back so we're going to bring down this part over here don't want it to affect the darks as much so we're just going to add two points and bring this down pretty happy with that next thing I want to do is just create a new solid or a new adjustment layer sorry we're going to add a tint effect make them both black and take this down to about 45 going to drop that just above the actual sky and I'm going to duplicate the sky and add a CC toner and I've got two colors here that I was happy with before 9C7347 and the highlight is bringing back the whites at the moment so let's just change that to C0AA78 and we should be good there I'm going to drop this below and what I had is this kind of masking effect so let's just create a mask over this drop this down to about there and we're going to use our mask feather tool just to adjust this feather going to bring this down add one there that's about good and I did something like that for the video something else I did is just create a layer new solid make this black press OK put this above double click to create a mask invert that mask and let's just bring that in the new layer was not the size of the comp so I'm just going to go to it press comp size and let's just drag this out as well and change this to multiply and the last thing is the fade in of this so we need one more layer new adjustment layer let's rename this to be fade in this adjustment layer is just darken we'll add another tint effect Opacity over about one second 
and we can just easy ease these two. And that is the effect. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and comment in the description if there's anything else you'd like to see. Um, and please visit the blog. Until next time.